What's up, guys? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale, and have we got a musically fun-filled episode for you guys this week. I am joined by the <laughs> one, the only, Gabe Gibbs. You might have seen him on Instagram. He's a comedian. He's performing at the Netflix as a Joke Festival on Mother's Day, May 12th, at the Dynasty Typewriter Theater in Los Angeles. I will also be at the Netflix as a Joke Festival for the Just Saying Life podcast. On May 9th, here at the Belly Room at the Comedy Store. So get your tickets now. But please welcome this week's musically inclined guest, Gabe Gibbs. Hey, hey. Oh. oh, wow. I think that's like the first intro music we've had. <laughs> yeah, you guys need stings. You need buttons. I Just got you. Just give us a little, oh. Yeah, yes. there we go. That's it. <laughs> so it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun week, and I feel like music just makes... Every day better. You I love know? that. Yeah, agree. And where did you get your your start in music? I grew up. Well, I grew up. This is a whole other podcast. Oh but God, I here we go. Up a, grew up a pastor's kid, so I grew up like playing and singing in church. Oh, good. And then was a theater kid, which is in in, in even another podcast about mm -hmm. theater kids. So, uh, pastor's kid, theater kid. Yeah, <laughs> results in what you see and before this. you. Yeah, yeah, so we have a lot in common. Yeah, yeah. I was oh, not yeah. a pastor's kid, but I did go to the to the church yes. uh, in Texas and then wound up in the theater as well. Yeah. But you're more like Broadway musical? Yeah, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was my that was my route before being in LA. I was in uh in New York for a bit. I did the the Book of Mormon for a while, yeah. the one the South Park guys did. Um that was my my big stint out there, but since then been Doing dragging my wares across LA, <laughs> yeah, like a carpetbagger <laughs> yeah, of, of tunes, exactly. Right. Yes, um, exactly. Speaking of carpet bagging, <laughs> <laughs> I a lot of people, a lot of <laughs> listeners were wondering, Justin, how was the Renaissance Fair Pleasure Fest? Incredible, which by the way, we need to drop Pleasure Fest. That is the same thing as the Renaissance Fair, yeah. Pleasure Fest, Pleasure Fest. Why? Well, okay. Don't know. Okay. It sounds weird. And they are stigmatizing their own fair. Yeah. They're yeah. making it sound like it's some like swingers, mm -hmm. like key party with cornucopias mm -hmm. and goat hoofs, mm -hmm. which later in the day it is. And I'll get to that. <laughs> but the Renaissance Fair was so much fun. It's over in um Idlewild, or I'm sorry, Irwindale. Oh. Idlewild is not where it is. It's in Irwindale. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's, you know, like 45 minutes to an hour outside of L.A. Uh -huh. by a dam, the Santa Fe Dam. Sure. <laughs> and it was great. Some of the past years I've gone, it has been like 85 degrees, 90 degrees. Oh, and everyone's in, like, in the oh, oh, the smells, the B.O., <laughs> the back hair. The 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 not the back hair. the onion smelling fupas like it's all of it is a lot but you go and you're gonna have a good time and so this year because we've had a lot of rain it was actually cold when we walked in it was oh, overcast that May gray is in full effect and we got there then it burned off around like noon and we were like oh it's a little warm it was still tolerable wasn't as hot <laughs> but holy god were people out people were down to fair dtf <laughs> down to fair and it was very very crowded it's very expensive uh. here's the thing that i don't like you have to pay cash for everything cash what Cash. What? Like the olden days. Like the olden, olden yeah. days. Like not even coins. <laughs> Cash. There's like ATMs. I'm sorry. Ye old ATMs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of, course. Um, of course. Around the whole place. <laughs> and you are just, just, just $4.50 surcharge fee. Sure. Uh, let's go. You have to pay for everything there. Hot dogs are like $14. Oh. Like a beer, $17. Oh. I'm like, is this Dodger Stadium? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> yeah. This was my Coachella. This was it. I'm not gonna go sit and 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 listen to, you know, Sabrina Carpenter. Um, but I will go listen to an actual Ren Fair Carpenter yeah, yeah, yeah. make his home from scratch. Very well done. Yes. Very well done. Um <laughs> very well done. Wow. <laughs> um but it was it was it was fun. There was uh the the kids, it was our our friend Krista, her daughter had her birthday that day. She brought some friends and they were dressed up like fairies and cute. They did rides and uh all that. We made some friends, but I actually got to introduce my friends to the term RFH. 
Do you know the Do you know the uh, acronym for RFH? Uh, I don't. I could take some guesses, but I don't know. Take a guess. Uh, Renfair hookup. Close. Oh, oh. Another. Uh, am I right on any of them? Let's see. Mm-hmm. R- uh, Renfair. Mm-hmm. Renfair hottie. No. Ren- add a add an R. Renfair horny. Yeah. Incredible. Ren. Oh. Did someone say Renfair horny? Oh yeah. <laughs> there must be a new centaur in town. <laughs> Um, <laughs> incredible. Yeah, Renfair horny. Renfair horny. It is oh. a it is a thing that actually happens because you are in this space for a so long period of time where sixes become nines, and then people eventually <laughs> sixty nine. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. We are trapped in Middle Earth, <laughs> and it's slim pickings, and then you kind of have like a couple cans of mead, <laughs> and that. <laughs> that earth realm, earth realm fairy will give you a look and you're like hello and you're like I didn't wish for you to come over here and it's like sometimes a wish isn't needed <laughs> yeah and things get hot hell yeah did you experience oh yeah if it the happened people, to you as well yes the people that I was that I was with I was with I was with Evan and I was with Krista wow. and we were walking through the park and Evan was the first one to be like do you see that gladiator over there? <laughs> and I was like, Evan, no, it's happening. And he's like, what, what? I go, Renfair Horny, it's happening. It happens quicker than you think it Yes, seems. I lost the love of my life at the Renfair. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was this guy, big back, had like a tattoo across it, had like that, uh, what's that game, God of War? Had like the oh, scar, sure, sure. the battle axe, the fur. Hey, that'll work on anybody. That's the, the, the battle axe, the fur, the fur. <laughs> it oh was, my God. but it was it was overall enjoyable. But yeah, it was a long day. Got a little sun. Forgot to put the sunscreen on. Sure, sure. And I have a nice little tan line from the crosses Ooh. in my Amazon peasant shirt. <laughs> Which, by the way, we found out we were just wearing our underwear at the uh, <laughs> because we didn't have layers on properly. We just oh. had like a peasant shirt. Krista had just a dress on, and people were looking at us like we were trash. Oh my god! Because we're like, where's your corset? Where's your boots? Where's your? And we were like, what? They're like, you're just in your undergarments. <laughs> no one told me. So yeah, we got burned as witches at the end. But did I? Was I in full Renfair mode for the rest of the weekend? Yes, because. Sure. Um, I've been watching Mary and George, which I don't know if you've seen this. Have you, no. Land? Have you seen the posters? I'm not. Oh, I've seen the posters. Julianne Moore and the like. Oh, 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 oh yeah. The guy from uh, Red, White, and Blue, who's straight but plays gay yeah, in every yeah, yeah. role he plays. But everyone's fine with it. Mm-hmm. He's good looking, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's yeah, what it it's takes. like this tale of like, um, this woman who pretty much like prostitutes her own son out to sleep with King James. The King James Version. Oh, oh yes. of the famed big book. Of the famous uh-huh. Bible. Yeah. Heard of it. Heard so of he's it. a big old Mo King. And uh yeah, Julianne Moore is like, you must get to the king's bed chambers. <laughs> yeah. She's making Whoa. her own son run fair horny for King James. Now, if that's not biblical, I don't I- know what is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real KJV uh-huh. right there. Wow. Yeah. In the beginning was that. Yeah. Incredible. I mean, it is pretty in- insane because I was like, I had no idea that this that was like a real story. But yeah, that's the the King James Bible is like That hey, is I guess he left some chapters out, you know? Yeah, sure did. So, but it's sure really good. Did. It's on stars. Totally recommend it. Okay. Um, but um, we're gonna go from the King James version to <laughs> Taylor's version. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's oh. inevitable. It's inevitable. It is. We're gonna talk about it. It was, you know, we had a good week off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. From, from Taylor, but Taylor has released her thirty-eight song. <laughs> Double album. Oh. I know it's not 38 songs. I feel like it might be 36. Sure. Something like that. Sure. Called the Tortured Poets Department. And after this weekend, I feel like a tortured poet. <laughs> I went to the fair. Yeah. This album was on repeat in my home on the way to the fair because everyone was listening to it. Um, 
detectives are hard at work to unmask all of her Easter eggs. As always, yeah, I'm sure. Um, are you a Swifty? I'm not a Swifty. Mm -hmm. I respect the business moves quite a lot. Yes. But I'm not a I'm not a Swifty. You can hear in my voice that I'm being delicate because there's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of them out there. A lot of them <laughs> are um, nice people, of course. Then there's some that will make your family disappear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and you know who you are. I'm still <laughs> looking for my family. Okay, you're out there. I see you. <laughs> Let them free. <laughs> and one day. Let them free. One day it'll all come back to you. <laughs> Karma. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So she <laughs> released the Kraken and uh -huh. her new album is out. It's been on replay all weekend. Yeah. Um, my boyfriend is a Swifty. There. I said oh, it. uh oh. I said it. It's in the house. It's fine. E. We're fine at home. Everything's great. <laughs> But it is. Have you listened to the album? I have. Yeah. 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 And thoughts are. What do you What do you think? <laughs> My thoughts are. It. I didn't know. I was doing another thing, admittedly, but uh -huh. I didn't know when one song had ended and we were in a new song. It was a vibe for a couple of hours mm -hmm. that was sort of. Yeah. Uh, feeling. Uh, repetitive churchy oh. worshipy kind oh. of just vibe you it know? was just it's very like like on a cloudy day i get it it's good driving music it's sure. also like a it's the album i would listen to if i had really hot diarrhea and crying in a wendy's bathroom <laughs> Yes. It's a whole, you know what yes. I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, lock yeah. the door. Yeah. Please, no one knock. I, just let me yeah. be here for a second. Yeah. Like, I get it. There's a lot of, like, <laughs> there's a lot of, you know, shout outs to all her exes. Uh -huh. She comes after Kim Kardashian and, like, oh. ruins her. I mean, she is, like, I mean, she gets shit done. She's the most powerful woman in the world. It's a little terrifying. For sure. And I thought about this, too, because I was like, had, if she was like, I'm running for president, people, she would win. Oh, yeah, Without a doubt. She would win. Without a doubt. We don't even need to know her platform. No. We don't care. No. Just, oh, she's running? Sold. She's it. Yeah. Good year for Post Malone. He was on Beyonce's album and hers. Yeah. That's crazy. That boy... Yeah, sneaking his way just in. wedged his way in. <laughs> yeah. And I have not seen the video. I did see uh, Post Malone without the tattoos because they like airbrushed all his tattoos off for her album no or way. for her video. Oh, that'll be a cool look. It was just a weird, weird weekend for men's makeovers. We had Post Malone <laughs> without tattoos. We had Mark Zuckerberg with facial hair. Oh, yeah, It yeah, was yeah. weird. Hot Zuck. Yeah, yeah, Hot yeah. Hot yeah. Zuck. Yeah, we're loving Hot Zuck, huh? Suck me, daddy. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought it was it was very interesting. So Taylor immediately releases the song called Thank You, Amy, which mm. immediately gives me um, If You Seek Amy by Britney Spears. Amy mm. is just that girl who just gets blamed for everything. <laughs> Poor Amy. Um, <laughs> and so she pretty much, I love that this article says, eviscerated Kardashian. She labeled her a bronze spray tanned. Uh, oh. And her mom, Taylor's mom, wishes that she was dead, which I was like, did her mom okay that lyric? Yeah. I don't want my mom to be in some feud. No, no, we don't need to bring mom into this. But That's... now are we going to get the ultimate Kris Jenner versus Taylor Swift's mom mud wrestling match? Okay. Because I'm kind of here for that. Would pay a lot. Mm-hmm. Would pay a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh. So it's pretty much, she's comparing <laughs> Kardashian to like a high school bully like, oh, she, you know, she that infamous recording that she did with Kanye. Oh, right. So, I mean, obviously, oh, it's right. like, we can't move on. We're going to... Wow. Welcome hey. back, everyone, to Catching Up the Straits on what's going yeah. on in the world. Uh, yeah. Thanks for being here. Yeah. <laughs> Catching up. an honor up, and a pleasure. We have to keep up with the... Keeping up with the straits. We have to let the straits know <laughs> that this is what we have to deal with. Okay, because K, the K was capital. K was and capitalized. And the IM was capital. Yeah. Okay, and Ooh. it's it's clicking, and we're clicking, and it's clicking. Yeah, and so we're getting there. Since then, Kim has lost over a hundred thousand followers um, on her socials. Which I mean, sure, she's fine. That she'll be fine, um, but that's a lot. A lot of people went into the comments over the weekend on Kim's post with snake emojis and oh. all that shit. Uh, you know, whoa. So the world is healing. 
I feel like. <laughs> like, thank God. So, yeah. Thank so God. she. It was just a, a long weekend of um, Taylor Swift. She has a really Whoa. good collaboration with Florence uh, from Florence and the Machine. Oh. Which is called Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Florida. That's it. Exactly right. We did it. That Florida, was it. When Florida gets its own song. <laughs> but I was expecting a different song based on Florida. A different, uh, w- what's in this one? This one's just like, all my uh, friends smell like babies and weed. That's kind of a good line. I did actually hear this line. Yeah. Go, I will defend her on that line. Then it's like, if things don't work out, go back to Texas. Yeah. She mentions Destin. Okay. Um, Florida. Florida! But now that's what I'm doing. Uh, I feel like if there is a song about Florida, <laughs> you know, we definitely need to reference, you know... What's that drug that was going around? Oh, bath salts. Yeah, bath salts. Yeah, because Florida is definitely the land of bath salts and Sea World. Sea World. Universal Studios. Universal. <laughs> yeah. Mar-a-Lago. <Florida>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the land of bath salts and mm-hmm. Sea World. Donald Trump has his house. Where people visit him and play golf? Playing golf, shitting, playing golf. Shitting? Oh, yeah, full dump. They're taking full dumps at Mar-a-Lago. Take a big old dump at Mar-a-Lago. Come on in and take a big old dump at Mar-a-Lago. Take a big old dump. Uh, I mean, that's the tortured poet right there. That's kind of what m- was missing from the album. That was so good. Take yeah. a dump at Mar-a-Lago. Oh, uh, yeah. That'll be on my <laughs> tortured poets yeah, album. Yeah, you need to have it like tortured poets album. <laughs> yeah, I should. Totally do. Just like all the all the classic hits. Just me, yeah. Speaking of dumps, <laughs> Courtney Love. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Courtney we'll Love. I'm, I mean, my favorite porta potty on legs is. She is just becoming so candid and so just opinionated, and I kind of love her for it, no pun intended. But she didn't hold back when she asked about when she was asked about several pop stars, including uh-huh. female artists, including Taylor Swift. According to an interview posted by The Standard, um, Courtney Love says she positively hates the idea of Taylor Swift. Taylor is not important. Um, love said of the 14 time Grammy winner. She might <laughs> okay, that's shade. That's yeah. sick. She's not important. Good job. Uh she might be a safe space for girls, and she's probably the Madonna of now, but she's not interesting as an artist. Okay. Um oh wow. So she's coming for Madonna too, huh? Well, she's always coming for Madonna. Remember oh, at the like VMAs? Like back in the '90s, she like threw her phone and her like compact over and the hit, railing and it almost hit Madonna. I don't remember this. You're probably too young. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Okay. But that was a whole thing where they were interviewing Madonna. She had just released "Bedtime Story," which was an uh, album uh, that had come out, I believe, that year. And Kurt Loder was like interviewing her, and they were up high, and Courtney Love was walking down below, like drunk and cracked out and she like picked up her compact on her phone and threw it and it shows like them being interviewed and you just see it go like fall right in front of her and she's like oh look there's Courtney on pills like just like (laughs) so Madonna is not the biggest Courtney Love fan sure but after slamming Taylor Swift she then goes after Lana Del Rey the princess of Coachella Uh. um, who said Lana should really just take seven years off Uh, uh, uh-oh uh-oh um, she wow. goes, I haven't liked Lana Del Rey since she covered a John Denver song. Um, <laughs> up until, I mean, my God, up until Take Me Home, Country Roads, I thought she was great. Despite, <laughs> despite not liking Lana Del Rey's music, Courtney admitted that she had to stop listening to the Coachella headliner while recording her new album because it was influencing her too much. Oh. Mm, I don't uh, like you because it's helping me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't like you because you're inspiring me to write good music. John Denver just woke up from a nap like, what? Yeah. Who, who's dragging me into this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know John Denver's dad, right? A long nap. Long nap. I was... <laughs> I was a waiting. long nap. I was like, does he know? Um, mm-hmm. 
Love. I who definitely also, knew that. <laughs> La, Courtney Love, who also said she doesn't like Madonna, then okay. took one final shot at Beyonce. No. Who recently became the first black woman to lead the top country <laughs> albums, releasing Cowboy Carter. She says... Um, <laughs> Whoever wrote this did good. I mean, I like the idea of Beyonce doing a country record because it's about black women going into spaces where previously only white women have been allowed. Not that I like it much. As a concept, I love it. I just don't like her music. Oh. Following her comments, fans from several different uh, corners of the internet took to X to blast the mono singer for publicly putting down female artists while promoting a series that is supposed to be about the importance of women in music. She's jealous. I don't even know her, one fan wrote. <laughs> Taylor's a world-class artist. Okay, to be fair... <laughs> to be fair, Courtney Love... I mean, she's got some bangers. She was in the band hole. She has great songs. One of them is Malibu. I love that one. Um, what's the other one? Uh, Celebrity Skin. Celebrity Skin. Oh. God, what a bop. You know, she's she's had a career. Okay, okay. So okay. just because she's saying something doesn't mean the Taylor Swift fans can be like, I don't even know her. <laughs> That is the good. That is the right line reading of a Taylor Swift fan, though. I think you were yeah, dead right. I don't know you. <laughs> um, it comes from deep within. But also, <laughs> this is a great quote too. I'm laughing at people being shocked that Courtney Love is hating on other female artists. Welcome to 1992. Homegirl has been a hater since the 90s. Okay. Yes. Good for her. Um, Way to get out there. And here's the thing. And. I'm not trying to have this podcast where people are like, oh, two men are trashing Taylor. You're allowed to do whatever you want to do. Amen. It's a good album. It's sleepy. Mm -hmm. It's cozy. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to drink tea and just like, yeah. It makes me want to do this with I my shoulders. I want to do that. I just want to be like, just, just leave me alone. Yeah. Florida. <laughs> like, it's that. Here's, I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm answering you. Okay. Yeah. What is it right now with the uh, the pop girls? Because uh. I do feel like it's a little bit of a mood. Uh. It's just that. It's kind of just, maybe I don't want to go into mm. my room. Very chill. Maybe too chill. Yeah. Sleepy. Like Lana Del Rey. Billie Eilish. Yep. Like yep. Ariana Grande kind of did. Like everyone's kind of yep. doing this weird artsy Yep. Mood. Yeah. There's no bangers. I feel like Dua Lipa is got Dua Lipa's just Dua holding Li on. Oh. She's doing the most. Just banger. She's after like, banger. I'm just gonna like, you yep. guys wanna dance and party, let's go. Yep. Everybody else just wants to like sulk and just like fantasize about Eeyore. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Is it like a is it is it like people needing to try to prove that they're real artists. That's what I'm wondering. Kind of thing. Like, because I do think like the the bangers of like bubblegum pop do end up getting a little bit of eye roll, but last yeah. longer. And then you've got people needing the, I don't know, is it like a credibility pay? I, I feel like artists are always trying to do I, this. Yeah, it's everyone's just trying to be deep. And <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah. And like, uh. But it's also like, there's no singing. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no singing. Yeah, yeah, agree. It's everyone's just like, Talking and yeah. like it's just like this, like I'm just gonna go yeah. to the fridge and get a sandwich, and you're like, <laughs> that's brilliant. Actually, that's actually record of the year. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I'm sitting there like, hello, was I the only one listening? Yeah, yeah. Where are the tunes? <laughs> Where are the I hear tunes? You. I hear Where's you. the bops? Where's the bridges? Where are the choruses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring like, back the bridge. Something. Bring back the bridge. No, I hear you. It is a lot of like s speaking on pitch with general flavor that yeah. we're giving not like a distinct here's what i'm handing you yeah i hear and you. i and i i'm not going to say i'm bored with it because much like social media i'm getting bored sure the get ready is with me sure like, i don't want to get ready with you i don't know you I don't know. Why am you. I getting ready with you to go to like yeah. something that I wasn't even invited to? Yeah, yeah. Doing hey guys, the, get doing ready. This thing with oh, the hand. Oh God, I'm yeah, tired. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Get ready. Hey guys, get ready with me as I go <laughs> fart in a Chipotle. I'm yeah, like, what? Yeah, yeah. And then it's like I would watch that. Actually, I would watch that one. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. It's me just getting ready, yeah, and then yeah, I'm in a Chipotle, yeah. like. Oh my God, Thanks, that guys. outfit was sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's just it's it, uh, I don't know. I, I don't you. know. 
But I was very excited over the weekend because the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted, uh, or they are inducting the 2024 class. Oh, did shoot. you see this? No. Which includes <gasps> Mary, Mary J. J. Blige. Blige. Cher not already in it? No. We'll wow. get into this in a minute. Cher. Do you believe it, alive? Which is that song. Wow. That song always triggers me. I'm so sorry to have triggered you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we cut the... No. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Thanks so much, you guys. This has no. been really a good opportunity. No, thank you so much. In fact, <laughs> Netflix is a joke. No, it, it was the it was that song that w it was the Shares Believe was the first song that used auto-tune. Oh, really? And it came out in 99, yeah. Oh, cool. And so it was the... the If you believe in uh -huh. love, 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 And it uh -huh. just like... It sends me on a spiral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll talk more about Cher in a minute. But, okay, okay, but okay. Dave Matthews Band, uh -huh. which I'm a Texas boy, much respect. Sure. Foreigner, which I was like, they're not in it wait, either. Wait, wait, wait. Which one's, what, what's Foreigner's big one? I want to know who oh. love is. I yes. want you to show me. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. In Ooh. my life. Yes. Peter Frampton. Which, okay. I'm shocked as well. Okay, a lot of these cool in the gang. What? How are how are a lot of these not already crazy? Okay, Ozzy Osbourne, yeah, um, and a tribe called Quest. So, wow, a lot of people that I would have guessed were already in it. Yeah, yeah, it is interesting. But the big thing about Cher was that Cher, much like Dolly Parton, who was inducted last year, uh, Cher was like. I don't want to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Whoa. <laughs> and. <laughs> okay. And, okay. And she said that she, she pretty much said like, fuck the, fuck the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And then the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is like, Cher, it's your year this year. Yeah, yeah. We gave it to Dolly Lester. And now we're going to give it to you. So now, I mean, that's the, that that's why I think they're kind of gay icons because they just wow. say, we don't need the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Fuck you guys. We've been doing this forever. And then the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's like, come on in this yeah, way. Yeah. Right here. Sit right here in the front. Yeah. No, no, no. We need you, Cher. Yeah. But I'm excited. This is a good That's cool. a good group of people. That's very cool. Good for Cher. All of them. I however, I am a little upset. Uh-oh. Sade did not make the cut. Oh. I know. Officially, like you can't You can vote. Like they they're you vote for the inductees, like who is because yeah. you're allowed to be, you are allowed to be inducted after, I want to say, it's either ten or twenty years in the business, something wow. like that. Okay. And then when you're up for a nomination, the I, I guess the fans and the board and all that they vote for whoever uh. they want to see inducted into it. And Shadé, and Shadé was a God, no. I just love her. Huh. She's a vibe. I've seen like that's my tortured poet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shadé. Shadé. Like fifteen Shadé t-shirts in mm -hmm. East LA over the last two weeks. The Maybe next they were time campaign. you see a Shadé shirt, go up to that person <laughs> and say, "Name a Shadé song." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's probably hipsters like me. You're yeah. right. You're yeah. right. Guilty. Same with like Nirvana. Guilty. Yeah. Oh, for it's sure. Like, oh, you have a Nirvana shirt on? What's a Nirvana shirt? Yeah, song? give me one. Just one. Give me one. Uh, Who played the drums? Uh, yeah. Um, well, congrats to all of the inductees. I can't wait to see the performance, which, by the way, they like put together a whole show of like the the inductees at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And it's a solid show. That would be a I think they released show. it on it's either Apple Plus or Disney, something like that. It's, it's Max, what is it? Max. It's on Max, on Max. Yeah. yeah. And it's good. They have like collabs. They bring up, you That's know. That's cool. It's, it's a good, good show. That would be a good show. But um, yeah. let's keep the show going. George Santos. Oh. Are you familiar with George Santos? I, I know a little bit about Georgie. Mm -hmm. I know a little bit about Georgie. What do you know about him? I, I know politician. Yeah. I know... Uh, Allegedly. Fashionista. Oh, yes. Icon. I know... Uh, <laughs> gets himself in the news a lot. He does. That's about that's about what I know about. Well, uh, our lawmaker George Santos. He's also gay. Yeah. Oh, this. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But what I love All about under this, the umbrella of that. Yes, he is like everyone's just trying to <laughs> just get rid of him. Just get out of here. Um, and the article that I'm reading it literally starts with sachet away, George Santos. Um, <laughs> George Santos disgraced 
scandal hit former lawmaker uh, continues to add to his glittering resume. Over the weekend, the 35-year-old posted a couple of throwback photos. He said they were him at 18 when he did some modeling. Uh, Young me did something called looks modeling. Age 18 in these. Fun times, but looking back, I can say I was being constantly sexually harassed. Oh. And I didn't realize it. George. I was naive and young and didn't see malice in any of it. <gasps> now when I look back, it haunts me. And hold on, we're not done yet. And I wish I could remember all of the people's names and faces. Oh. It's a very dark industry. And I caution parents of young kids. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So wait, 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 wait. he starts off with saying, here's a throwback of me doing modeling. By the way, I was sexually trafficked. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. He's George. now, okay, baby girl. Just because you <laughs> attempted modeling at some rundown McAllen, J.C. Penney's does not mean that you were a model. He says it's a very dark industry and I caution parents of young kids and teens to be very present in these entertainment slash fashion type environments. Modeling Sacred Blue and Cavalli on the left and Diesel DKNY on the right for a multi-brand boutique in NYC. <laughs> oh my God. Watch out <laughs> for a spooky industry. <laughs> By the way, can we just go back up to that picture? <laughs> That's him, like, 10 years ago. That's not... No, no, no. This also looks like headshots that he's like, I was doing modeling, and he just named the brands that he was wearing for his headshots. No, this is him at Olin Mills, like... <laughs> At a Sears, like <laughs> taking pictures. This is like this is like his senior pictures, <laughs> senior portrait. This isn't you doing modeling. You were a derp then. You're a derp now. Okay, it's not happening. And the comments are: Was this during the Holocaust ish? Ooh. What have you done about it now as an adult? Nothing shocker. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take things that never happened for five hundred. Yes. <laughs> Mama. That's the one. You are not a model. So, wow. yeah, he's he's saying that he did some light modeling. <laughs> some yeah. light modeling. I mean, if George Santos was a model, uh, what store would he be a model for? Oh, I don't know. Let's it's, see. <sighs> Bucky's. Good. I want to say Cracker Barrel, but oh, not. Yeah. It's not Cracker Barrel. It's like a... um. It's some sort of home buffet, like a like a Luby's <laughs> or like Golden a Corral, all day. Oh, Golden, Golden Corral. Corral or like CC's Pizza. CC's <laughs> Pizza. Did some ask? Someone... We just rubbed our hands yeah. together about CC's. Oh my Pizza God, are you an, are you an influencer? Yeah, yeah. Get ready with me as I go to CC's, CC's Pizza. <laughs> yeah. Did someone ask for chocolate pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I had some good times at CeCe's Pizza, though. Oh, yeah. But also some bad times. Uh, that Those follow. <sighs> those do follow. Yeah, I feel like that's George Santos. George <laughs> yeah. Santos is the CeCe's Pizza of politicians. Wow, wow, wow. It all very, comes... Very, very yeah. good. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. The more you know. <laughs> the more you know. That does sound like the more you know. Wow. Well, if modeling doesn't work out for George Santos, maybe Tori <laughs> Spelling can take a note or two because Tori Spelling, I don't know if you're familiar with Tori Spelling. She's had a year. She had denied living in an RV. Oh. Then she was living in an RV. Oh. Then she she just got a divorce. She's got five kids. She started a podcast. She's pissing everywhere. <laughs> like, she's doing too much. <laughs> Like, if she had a show, it'd be called 90210. Oh, no, I don't need that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you play the 90210 song? Do you know I it? I don't know the 90210 uh, song. Why have me? 
No. Well, I have me when we have this these This is like we're putting you to vocals. the test. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, Tori <laughs> Spelling in her new podcast had admitted to having a C-section. She has the vagine of a 14-year-old. <laughs> Watch out, George Santos. <laughs> oh. She also pees in a diaper in traffic. <laughs> and she used Ozempic to lose baby weight. Mm. What's next for Tori? <laughs> Who knows? Just Tori being Tori. <laughs> You know oh my what? God. <laughs> I feel like everyone's just saying their thoughts. Uh huh. People are just saying their thoughts. Uh huh. I honestly feel like, <laughs> much like Taylor Swift's tortured poets, I feel like some things should just be left in the diary. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like write everything down. Don't need and to then be public. Read it. Mm -mm. Um, Tori Spelling also did a reunion with Shannon Doherty on Shannon Doherty's podcast, and they oh. had to talk about, like, why they weren't friends anymore. Shannon's like, well, because you kind of were dating an asshole, Ooh. and uh, that costs us our friendship. What do we think Tori Spelling's going to do next, Lan? Do we care? Is that the end? <laughs> we just... Yeah, I, yeah, that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, good for you, Tori. Good job, Tor. Glad oh. you have a a clean vagine. So happy about that for you. Tori's got a clean vagine. Tori's got a clean vagine. Tori's got a clean vagine. Yeah. Tori's got a clean vagine. Doesn't need to put it in the washing machine. Uh-uh. Cause that vagine is oh so clean. Tori's got a clean vagine. No way it's cleaner than Tori's vagine. Wow. wow. So good. Yeah. Thank uh, God. Thank God. Yeah. That's also making it on the album. Well, we don't. Tori's yeah. got a clean vagine. Tori's got a clean vagine. Yeah. That's uh, the single I'm going to put out ahead of the album, actually. You should. Yeah. And like, she'll be like, she'll that's be like, about me. Oh, yeah. Thank I want to talk about it on my podcast. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Broadway. You, sure. You had some Broadway uh, yeah, I know. ties. Uh, Oprah has praised Alicia Keys' uh, Broadway show, which is called Hell's Kitchen. She called it spectacular. After she woke up humming the songs. Wow. Yeah, the musical, which is loosely based on uh, Alicia Keys' life and includes hits from the Grammy winner's mm. catalog, is now playing at the Schubert Theater in New York City. Um, it was a whole, like, star-studded affair. Uh, she said that Michelle Obama was there, Gail King was there, oh, wow. uh, her mother and her husband, Swizz Beats. She said that uh, Oprah said she was so proud and happy uh so artfully accomplished with your new Broadway musical, surrounded by a team of fantastics and a spectacular cast. Um, Oprah even said, you know, it's a great show when you wake up the next morning humming the songs. Well, I mean, well, let's be real. The songs have been out. Yeah. We know. We know these ones. We know the songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, maybe yeah, just yeah. listen to an Alicia Keys album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the songs. Um, but Hell's Kitchen tells an original an original story by Pulitzer Prize finalist Christopher Diaz oh. based on Keys' experience of growing up in the New York City neighborhood at the same name. The musical, according to its official logline, is set in the 90s and follows uh, Allie, oh, a 17-year-old girl full of fire, uh, searching for freedom and passion in the Bronx. Get out of here, yeah, J-Lo! Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. about you! <laughs> I swear, just let a Hell's Kitchen girl breathe already. Oh my God! But I was just saying, I was I was in the neighborhood too. I'll get, get, J Lo, get. move along. Ugh, rebellious and stifled by an overprotective single mother, <laughs> Allie is lost until she meets her mentor, a neighbor who opens her heart and mind to the power of the piano. Whoa, the power of the piano. Yeah. Oh Ooh, shit. <laughs> power of the piano. When did you find the power in the piano? I still haven't. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. so pretty much this is just like a biopic about her. It's a love story between mother and daughter. Uh, it's incredible. My mother left Toledo, Ohio to come to NYU. She's the New York story, the one that came from wherever and chased the dream, wow. which has allowed me to be in New York City and grow up there and find a dream. So that's really the concept of Hell's Kitchen to watch and come to life with my mother is such a wow. dream come true. Uh, wow. 
This girl is on fire. Oh. She truly is. Yeah. It's just like Broadway people are not going to sing that in the way that you want it to be sung. <laughs> Any the music song. is going to be, there's going to be way more vibrato than you want on an Alicia Keys song. It's going to be. How do you mean? Like, for example, I'm not a big, I'm not a big. Uh, like, it's going to be a terms. heavier voice. Like, uh-huh. like, it'll, like. This is a. <laughs> I, I was doing this on Instagram the other day, but it, it's like. Um, uh, it'll be this girl is on, you know, like oh, fire, please somebody, yeah. that kind of thing. This girl is on fire. It's not going to be what you want. Although well, Oprah will wake up singing it. Oh, Oprah! <laughs> Oprah loves waking up to women on fire. Just, <laughs> ah, I am your god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm wondering, so. <laughs> What was that like? Some people want it all. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like it's yeah, gotta yeah, be yeah, like. Yeah. It's gotta be that soul, that soul. But those people are singing eight shows a week, so they gotta keep it like like little choir singers with a little microphone yeah, on their yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people, literally, <laughs> like Lay Miz. You know that's how it's gonna be. You show up. <laughs> what was another I don't. song? Oh yeah, she's got Falling "Girl on Fire." If I ain't got you. Oh, yeah. Oh. I keep on... Someone's going to be literally falling in the choreography. Oh. No, they'll do like the shadow yeah, puppetry yeah, yeah, yeah. where they're like, <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and you know they're going to do Empire State of Mind. No, oh, yuck. yeah. Oh, my God. That's definitely the bows, for <laughs> sure. That's the bows. For sure, that's Concrete the bows. Concrete jungle, which is a made of. There's nothing you can't do. Thank you. Yep. Thank you yep. so much. Yep. That's going to be the bows, for Sure. And then the national tour of that will just be weird because they're going to go be, they'll be in Toledo, Ohio, yeah, being like, New York. York. And they're like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toledo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also yep. a concrete jungle. Yeah, it is. But really it's not is. where dreams are made of. No. No, no. They're doing their best. You know where dreams are made of? Tell me. Florida. <laughs> 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 well, speaking of Broadway, wow. Patty Lapone is coming back to Broadway oh, thank God. with Mia Farrow, even after she ditched the Actors Union. What? Did you not hear about this? Well, the truth is she never left us. <laughs> Patty Lapone will come back to Broadway this fall more than two years after she dramatically tossed out her Actors Union card. And in typical Patty Lapone fashion, her return won't be low key. The three time Tony Award winner will start opposite none other than Mia Farrow in Jen Silverman's new play, The Roommate. The production, directed by Jack O'Brien uh, from Shucked, will begin previews at the Booth Theater on 45th Street in late August and then open in mid-September. So, uh, it certainly will be a thrill to see Patti Lapone and Mia Farrow uh, back on the boards for the first time in a decade. What's really piqued the interest here is Patti's equity card. In July 2022... Patti Lapone was very public about leaving the Equities Actors' Equity Union, the professional actors' union that a performer typically is a member of, to work on Broadway mm-hmm. and at many other top-tier theaters around the country. Uh, quite a week on Broadway, seeing my name being <laughs> bandied about. Gave up my equity card. No part of that circus. Figure it out. I mean, look at her. Like, if this is not my vibe in like wait that first two of all, years bandied. Second of all, that all rhymed. Third yeah. of all, again, an incredible line delivery. On oh yeah, exactly how that was meant to be delivered. This is actually the photo of Patty Lapone after she threw away her equity card. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. smoking, drinking yeah. a goddamn martini covered in jewels. Oh hell and yeah! And I love that she has a whole nother martini next to her Ready. waiting. <laughs> uh, so she pretty much quit. Now she's back. And uh, yeah. So Ooh. I just think she's just letting us, uh, she's giving a share. She gave us the farewell tour and she's like, nope, I'm coming back. She quit the union and then the union was like, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> You're a three-time Tony Award winning actress. Yeah. Like, yeah, she wants to do a play, and uh, they're gonna let her. Yeah, of course they're gonna let her. It's Patty Lapone. New York does not have any right to work laws, so there's no legal protections here from an employer's union requirement for a job. Yeah, sure Usually, you just join up or do concerts at the Ice Palace on Fire Island. Oh God, and at <laughs> Carnegie Hall. Uh, 
Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They say, and some Fire people say Island she's going to be able Hall. to perform. They say you don't need an equity member to be in a play. They can't force her. They can't pick it. And that's about it. Wow. So, oh, but look, look at this gay who wrote this article. But now God knows anything goes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it'll be great. <laughs> Good for her. We're here for it. But. <laughs> Some people, the Broadway babies, will love a Patti LuPone, Mia Farrow union. Yeah. Um, others will enjoy this reunion. The Spice Girls over the weekend performed at Victoria <gasps> Beckham's 50th birthday party. Wow. Were you a big Spice Girls fan growing up? Who was your favorite Spice Girl? Uh, I would say probably Sporty. Sporty. I don't know which what her real name was. but Mel C. Yeah, thank you. You were the first person oh no ever <gasps> to say sporty spice it was just a good vibe <laughs> i think he's straight oh no we've discovered it i think he's straight despite my best efforts being a broadway boy <laughs> that's when you unfortunately, know unfortunately yeah when anybody ever has a question about you just or let your sexuality <laughs> and they're like we don't know if if Gabe's gay or not, <laughs> just be like, I'll let you in on, on something. Yeah. Well, My favorite Spice Girl is sporty. They're yeah. like, they're like, Whoop. well, oh, sorry. So we sorry. stand corrected. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But Melcy is good. I like yeah, Melcy, yeah, but yeah. I felt like, here's the thing. If you're talking to somebody and you don't know what their sexuality is, uh -huh. and they're like, Ginger, gay. Gay. Um, posh, gay. Sure. Baby, daddy issues. Okay. Um, scary. <laughs> Ooh, red flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did I name them all? I did. I think oh. I did. Um, but sporty, straight, or yeah. lesbian. Oh, which I dress the same. <laughs> I'm doing my two my little best in this polo. Yeah, yeah. You look like you're gonna go uh, <laughs> golf with a. Uh, <laughs> gonna go <laughs> with Courtney Love later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> But all five of the Spice Girls reunited over the weekend to celebrate Victoria Beckham's 50th birthday inside the club in London uh, at Club Oswald's. Mel C., uh, Emma Button, Jerry Halliwell, and Mel B. joined the birthday girl for an impromptu performance of their 1997 single, Stop. Um, which I was, like, here for, but also love, like, just David Beckham, like, doing a selfie video. Because yeah, I yeah, kind of yeah. didn't even pay attention to the Spice Girls in it. <laughs> Um, they even busted out their signature dance moves. Um, uh, and yeah, he, David said, I mean, come on, X. Relax, David. Uh, tagging all five of the ladies and adding a series of heart emojis. Is this the teaser for the reunion? Because I'm here for it. Tour win. <laughs> we are all unwell. And thank you at David Beckham for doing the Lord's work. Uh, yes, everyone is wanting a reunion tour with all five of the girls. Um, Victoria reshared the clip that David posted to her own page, calling her birthday soiree the best night ever. Mm. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> the fashion designer added, I love you all so much. Hashtag spice up your life. Um, never in a million years did I think that Victoria Beckham would ever be 50 years old. Wow. And she walked in on crutches. To, to her, her birthday own, party? She broke her foot. And still made it out? Made it out. Still made it out. And when asked, tell us what you want, what you really, really want, she said, a place to sit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, a, a foot rest. Mm -hmm. um, Did she hurt is, her foot from slamming her body down and winding it all around? I think so. Okay. And when, when she didn't even scream, she just said zig a zig -a, ah. which we, now we know. Yeah. Yeah. She, she slammed her body down and wound it all around yeah and her right in front of her kids gotta too. be careful it was really really weird gotta um, be careful <laughs> <sighs> and they had to like put screws in her hand or i'm sorry they had to put <laughs> screws in her foot um to get two to become one yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i was waiting i was waiting i was waiting so yeah. it's there it's there which by the way <laughs> i i think about songs back in the day now and how I used to just like sing them out loud. And I think that's the thing on social media where people like, oh, we as kids we used to sing these songs. And now that we're grown, we're like, <laughs> how did our parents like let us let sing us. the songs? Which now going back to Taylor, 
a lot of the moms who have younger kids who are Taylor fans are like, there's too many curse words in Taylor's new album. Oh. Because she's saying like, fuck you, like <laughs> screaming in the night sky with the stars aligned or whatever. But I'm like, yeah, she's 35 years old yeah. or 34. Sorry. Oh, <gasps> careful. Don't age shame Don't her. Don't rush her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but like, yeah, I'm like, she's going to grow up. Yeah. She's an adult now. Like, yeah. she's doing it. Um, But yeah, like I was thinking of like two become one. I need mm. some love like I never needed love before. Gonna make love to you, baby. Or like even that one song that was like about a boner. Oh, remember those guys? Too close by next. Thanks, Lan. Don't know that one. You, yeah, it's you about do. a boner. Yeah. How does it start? It's a uh, uh, <laughs> step back. You're dancing kind of close. I feel a little poke coming through. On you, yeah. Oh, that's not an emotional poke, is it? Yeah, no, it's his full-on hard on. Wow, oh, girl, you know you felt it. <laughs> but you know I can't help it. Girl, you know I can't help it. Wow, I like how you move, girl. Wait, baby, when we're grinding, I get so excited. Ooh, how I like it. Try, but I can't hide it. That's it. <laughs> and we were like, we we're like everyone's in the like, cl- yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Hope I get a cell phone soon. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Mom, yeah. put me on the family plan. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, totally. Literally. literally. Uh, <laughs> well, speaking of family plans, <laughs> the segues work themselves. I can't wow. help it, guys. Wow. New footage shows this woman who used a dead uncle to sign a bank oh, loan yes. arriving by taxi with the driver helping move the body. Now, I didn't hear about this story until what? last week when Jamie Kennedy was on Jeff Lewis. And he was telling the story, and I was like, what? And I looked into it. I mean, can we just show the video first if there's the the clip of her, like, actually in the bank? Oh, here we go. I mean, you could just play the music in the back. Yeah. <laughs> like, just give a soundtrack to what's happening. Yeah. Woman takes her corpse of her uncle to the bank. She's got to make a withdrawal. <laughs> What's the loan for? She said, rig a mortgage. <laughs> I wow. want to get a rig a mortgage loan. Please, rig a mortgage. Why are we blurring him out? Come on. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He'll never know about the loan. You never know that you're dead. You'll never know if you got the home. To follow your <laughs> dreams instead. <laughs> I took you to the bank after you died And I'm sorry, but it helped me Pay for my vacation to mar lago Don't chase the light, chase the bank Don't chase the light, chase the bank Oh, don't chase the light, just chase the bank That's Get your banking a chase <laughs> and chase the bank, don't chase the light Just chase the bank And put up a fight against your bitch ass daughter <laughs> Or your niece That's right Yes Wow Um. So, more to this story Please so this Brazilian woman took her dead uncle Into the bank to sign a loan in her name Arrived there by taxi the video shows the driver even helping her move the corpse from his car. Who? Erika de Suauza Vieira Nunez was arrested <laughs> Tuesday after taking the body of her 68-year-old uncle, Paulo Roberto Braga, into a bank and then moving his hand to sign a key document to get her a <gasps> sad a $3,400 loan. Tough. Moving his hand? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's moving the video I wanted hand. to show. Moving his hand? Yeah. So she told the cops she didn't know her uncle was dead. <laughs> Just thought he was a little cold and quiet. Yeah, gray. <laughs> yeah. Yep, corpse-ish. <laughs> Arriving at the bank by taxi with her motionless uncle in the front passenger motionless. seat. God, he was in the front with the driver? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That driver, too. Come on, bro. The footage, which has no sound, shows Nunez playing a wheel, uh, play, playing a wheelchair, placing a wheelchair outside the car door and reaching inside to grab her late uncle. The driver then helps her pull him up out and into the wheelchair where the uncle slumps with his head lifted to the right. At one point, a man walks by and does a double take. He turns around <laughs> and appears to speak to the man while motioning to Braga, but then continues on his way. He's just quiet. Um, wow. <gasps> 
Yeah, so uh, she then wheels him into the elevator oh, before wow. another camera captures her making her way along the hallway. Another video taken the day before showed Nunez bringing the visibly alive Braga to an emergency room. So she insisted she did know her relative was dead when she took him to the bank to sign the documents that would have allowed her to take out a $3,400 loan. Oh. So the autopsy found out that he died between 11.30 in the morning and 2.30 in the afternoon, with his cause of death being determined as respiratory aspiration of stomach contents and heart failure. <gasps> this is, yeah. Tough. Yeah. Oy. So they said <laughs> the man's blood had pooled within his... Ooh. Ooh. He did not die seated, but rather lying down. Okay. So okay. this is the video. Look, I wish... Can we find the video of her, like... I mean, it's... <laughs> She's out here pulling him up to the kiosk. Like a full-on puppet. Like, Oh, wow. Yeah. And I think if... You know what? I want to say it's on TikTok. Let me... I can just pull it up. We've seen... We've seen Do you want to pull it up? Or, yeah. I just got a text from Leslie Jones. She said, Hey, what did Taylor Swift say in her song? <laughs> and why her and Kim got beef? Well, stay tuned. Stay tuned, Leslie Jones. You're going to want to see this You're episode. You're going to see this episode. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Uncle Paolo, did you hear me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Here you go. You need to sign here, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Paolo. <laughs> if you don't sign, it's not going to work. The, the ensemble's like, come on, sign. Come on, sign, please. Come on, sign, Uncle Paolo. Uncle Paolo. Please. Come on, sign, Uncle Paolo. Won't Uncle you Paolo. sign now? It's for $3,400. $3,400. <laughs> Four hundred dollars in Brazil. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly, <laughs> exactly right. So, oh wow. So yeah, this is the video. Uh, uh, but he's not well. His skin tone is changing. That's just how normally he is. Oh. They called the police after remaining unconvinced. Oh, the 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 banker called the cops. Whoa. Yeah. Even after it was clear the man had been dead for hours, Nunez kept up the charade. Uncle, if you're not okay, I'll take you to the hospital. Do you want to return to the hospital? I was going to play the role of uncle in this musical, but I realized he has no lines. He has no lines. <laughs> yeah. He is played by the understudy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Actually, yeah. this was Patti LuPone's return to Broadway. Yeah, there it is. As Uncle there Paolo yeah. in Brazil. It's all that's left when you're not in the union. <laughs> I mean, my God, yeah. When you don't have your card, you got to get the parts that so are only sorry. available. So sorry. 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 That's showbiz. So yeah, so she was uh she was arrested for fraud, I guess, and uh yeah. Yeah. And dis and desecration of a corpse. Oh, wow. Cool band name, but not <laughs> they're not being inducted into the Rock and Roll no, Hall of Fame not. this year. They're not. But maybe one year with Sade. Wow. Uh, that's that's a pretty wild story. Fraud. Yeah, that seems like fraud for $3, to me. For $3400. Not worth. Not worth. Well, I don't know Let's her say, hold on. I don't know her. Hey, Siri, <laughs> what's $3,400 in Brazil? 17,565 Brazilian reels and eight centavos. And eight centavos. <laughs> so, we have a developing number. Okay. 17,565 Brazilian dollars and eight cents. Well, that's crucial. That's definitely a bigger number than we thought. Yeah. Definitely bigger. Because what does she think she's going to do? She's going to like <laughs> flee Brazil to come live in California and blow it all on a month's rent? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> here for a half Bro, you week. You can't even put a deposit down with that no, shit. No, no, no. What are you no. talking about? That oh, is crazy. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> but do I want weekend at Uncle Paolo's? Yes. yes. I want weekend. Yes. Weekend yes, yes, at yes, Uncle Paolo's. Yes. Yeah, that's Uncle weekend. Paolo. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> yeah, so grab your caparinas. <laughs> yeah. And Opening on Broadway this yeah. year. <laughs> grab your corpses and caparinas, because Uncle Paolo is back. The sleeper hit of the season. You'll die laughing. Mambo! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <gasps> oh, oh, and our final story. Oh. Jennifer Hudson, who I just love. Yeah. Uh, reflects on her American Idol elimination 20 years ago this week from I Idol 
to EGOT baby. That's you a, know what? That's a big rise. Seriously, 20 years ago, I remember watching Jennifer Hudson getting eliminated and it was one of the very few times early like in American Idol. Like mm -hmm. now they're on like season 22 or something. Yeah. Um but I here's the elimination. It was her oh, Fantasia. versus Fantasia. Yes. No way. Yeah. And she got eliminated early, I feel like. She I, did. I remember because this was big in my family. My dad boycotted the show after this. After Jennifer Hudson got eliminated? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look here. Yep. And she's, I mean, it was a shock. Who's, Who's he? he? Who's he? Who is he? <laughs> we don't know him. Yeah. So, I mean, no. it goes to show you that everything happens for a reason because mm -hmm. both of these phenomenal women, Fantasia Barino and yeah. Jennifer Hudson, have gone on to have amazing careers. Correct. Um, but yeah, uh, Fantasia has won multiple awards. She's a Golden Globe nominee. Um, Jennifer Hudson got an Oscar for her first movie ever, Dream Girls. Oh, right. She right, got right. a Grammy, you know, the Tony for Color Purple, both of them collabed on Color Purple, I believe, um, and performed in different versions of the Color Purple. Mm. Um, but yeah, it is kind of wild to to see uh, the journey of, you know, and she had such a horrible loss with her family, that whole like- Oh, I didn't know about her this. Her family was like murdered. Oh no. Uh, so a lot of people were like, well, we, we don't know if she's gonna ever jump back from this and she's proved us all wrong. Wow. She's, you know, she's got, uh, She's just got that like spirit in that she says she just keep the faith, just keep believing and keep going since her shocking elimination 20 years ago. Um, they all kind of, I guess Paula, Simon and Randy have also reacted to the moment saying that that night I will never forget um, who chose stupid Barry Manilow week. Yeah, it's always that. It's always some lame ass Barry Manilow week. Get what? Leave Barry alone, you guys. I we know. don't need to. Barry's drum him doing up. fine. We He's don't need. To, we don't need to like. Now it's Barry Manilow's fault that Jennifer Hudson yeah. was eliminated from American Idol. Come on. Did you ever? <laughs> what? When did you stop watching American Idol, or do you continue to watch it now? That's a good question. Yeah. No, I don't. But you don't watch it now. No, no, no. I, I, I'm not anti it. I just mm -hmm. haven't seen it in a while. I'm trying to think. Where did I fall off? When, I remember. Yeah, I feel like everyone kind of knows when they fell off. It's like. I remember the Carrie Underwood, mm. Justin Guarini season. No, that was Kelly and Justin Guarini. Kelly and Justin. You're thinking of uh, Carrie Underwood and Bo Bice. Bo Bice. Long hair Bo Bice. Mm -hmm. It was Kelly and Justin. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruben Clay and Clay. And Ruben. Yeah, season two. Yes. Okay. And then three was Carrie, right? I think three was Carrie and Bo Bice. Yeah. I remember like as far as... David Archuleta and like um season four was um Fantasia and Well J Hud and then But who was the finalist with I Fantasia? Don't know. Who? Fantasia was season three. Oh, Carrie was oh. season four. Carrie oh. was four. Taylor Hicks was five. Taylor, Taylor Hicks. Hicks was five. The gray hair who guy was six. Jordan Sparks. Okay. Oh. David Cook was seven. Uh, that's when oh, I was out. David Cook and Chris. A was that the Chris, Chris Allen, Allen year? Eight. eight? Okay. Did after he die? that, I was out. I think he passed away. David Cook? David Cook did. Whoa. Some. Can we just Google? <laughs> <laughs> did he pass away? <laughs> oh. She passed away. Oh. Uh, hmm. Oh, he didn't. Oh. He's Yay! alive. I think it might have been something, it, it could have been his brother. There was some, because I feel like David Cook was like the first contestant to have the like terminal illness sure, or dealing sure, with sure. someone with. Announcement of that yes. kind. Yes. Yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. you're brave and being here. Yeah. So David Cook, and then who was after David Cook? Cook was Chris Allen. I'm out. I know Chris Allen, and then I'm out, I think. Then Lee DeWise. Nope. No. Who was after Lee DeWise? Scott McCreary. Oh, was he, was he the like country guy, the nutcracker country boy, deep voice country? Yeah. Guy. Oh. And who was after him? Philip Phillips. Oh, Philip Phillips had a hit, but I don't I didn't watch that season. His name he, was Philip Phillips. Phillips. Yeah, sure was. I feel like the substitute teacher <laughs> in a classroom. Like, like I'm waiting for yeah. my name to be called and yeah. lands the teacher and he's just naming names. And we're like, <laughs> like, you're going to call mine. Yeah, yeah. I remember. 
so many moments from Idol, and I'm trying to remember if there were we uh, over the weekend. Mandisa passed away, which was very sad. Oh, Mandisa was kind of like the Mandisa. first, one of the first like big like gospel singers. I feel like Fantasia oh, oh, for sure, oh. Jennifer Hudson, but Mandisa. Sure. She was on her season, and she was kind of like the gospel, gospel girl singer of her season. season. Oh, I know. What season was that? Season five. Season five. five yeah. Oh, okay. With Taylor Hicks. Wow. I that that was also an. I feel like this is. I don't know if this is true, but like the last like era that we were all watching TV, the same TV, because that was pre streamers that yeah. early stuff. We were all tuned into that. I all remember. I mean, I remember. American Idol coming on. And I mean, I want to say even with Carrie Underwood and Bo Buys. Yeah. That's when it was like, what team are you on? You yeah. got to pick your side. We were like, oh, God. Oh, yeah, 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 but I mean, yeah, yeah. I knew I can. What I loved about American Idol so much before those, whoever those people were yeah, that yeah, Land yeah, mentioned. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have yeah, no yeah. idea. <laughs> was that moment where they performed and you were like, they won. Yeah, yeah. I could pick every moment where I'm like, they just won the whole damn show. Yeah, which is why J Hud was such a, a boo yeah. on that show because we there were so many moments where it was like, oh, oh, obviously her. Give it to her, yeah. And then and then it was like, I, and she got voted off really, really early. On the and that's Barry Manilow to Barry Manilow weekend, <laughs> which I'm like, wow, you're kicking you're kicking African American girl off the show for singing an old gay white man song. Fully, not a good look. Well, that's there's a lot of that kind of like politics and stuff around the the winners and whatever like but i remember like kelly clarkson winning and her singing um respect by aretha franklin oh, sure. and everyone was like i honestly i don't know if i've said this on the podcast or not <laughs> but i don't remember kelly clarkson being on the show oh i remember her being in the ensemble but i don't remember her being on the show until I want to say it was like Bette Midler week. <laughs> and she sang stuff like that there and then went into respect for Aretha Franklin. Sure. I was like, oh my God, where's she been? Yeah. Like, give her the give her the whole title. Season two, I remember it was like Ruben and Clay, and they kind of were like a little boring yeah. to me. I was okay. like, oh, whatever. And then um Fantasia, I remember her singing. Uh, Taylor Hicks was sing. the one that I was kind of like, eh. I yeah. think Chris Daughtry should have won that one that yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Daughtry had the like uh sort of almost creed vibe yeah. to him. And he was yeah. good. He and was Jordan good. Sparks, like uh Yeah. How am I supposed to breathe with no, no air? air. Oh. In the air. No air, no air. Yes. That's a good song. Oh yeah. That's still a good song. Like if you mash that song up with like Enya, I'm, I'm sure it will I would it would slam. Okay. We'll find a DJ and we'll do this. <laughs> We'll find a DJ. I love that. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I mean, I guess we closed it out with, congrats, J-Hud. <laughs> yeah, you did, you did it. it. <laughs> you won all a of them. A moment like this. Some people <laughs> wait a lifetime. Uh, yeah, that's a good tune. Well, Gabe, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Please tell everyone where they can follow you. Yeah. What you have going on. You've got shows coming up on the road. I do. Yeah, you can follow me on all the socials. I'm either Gabe Gibbs yes. or the Gabe Gibbs if someone already took Gabe Gibbs. <gasps> it wasn't Wait a, a pretentious thing. It was just like, what was a veil? Gabe Gibbs? Yeah. You're like the Philip Phillips of... I am the Philip Phillips <laughs> of, of, of internet yeah, music of, of comedy. comedy, musical yeah. comedy. You're the Philip Phillips, Gabe Gibbs and Philip Phillips. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be opening for Philip Phillips oh my God. all over the U.S. this year. Uh, no, I'll be at Netflix's Joke Fest, like yes. you, you kindly said at the beginning, May 12th. I'll be there doing my hour, um, and then I'll be in... Uh, it's all on my website, GabeGibbs.com, mm -hmm. but I'll be in Seattle and Boston and where else? Detroit, my hometown, uh, Nashville, other places. Yeah. It's all up there. Very yeah. exciting, very exciting. And I will be in Austin, Texas in uh, on June 15th at the Vulcan Theater. Uh, I will also be at the Netflix is a Joke Festival, May 9th and 10th, uh, the ninth show. I'm doing the Just Saying Podcast live here at the Comedy Store in the Belly Room. Get your tickets. I'll also be at the Bourbon Room June 10th with Jesse Mae Peluso doing the Netflix is a Joke Festival. And uh, yes, also Mother's Day is around the corner. Oh, Don't know what to get your mom for Mother's Day? Go to my link tree in my Instagram and it will have my Cozy Earth discount, all that stuff. Moms like to be cozy on Mother's Day. So treat your mother well with a Cozy Earth uh, item, a blanket, 
a shirt, pajamas, sheets, duvet covers, whatever they want. Make them feel at home with a 40% off discount. Go now. We'll see you next time on the Just Saying Podcast. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.